Yes, yes, yes. Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Dr. Kerry White uh, of Refine Heart uh, Outreach Fellowship. And we are the Kingdompreneur Fellowship Group for our Mentoring Mondays. And we're going to have a very quick session on today because I think there are still people that are still in celebratory mode uh, for the things that... Um, uh, for Father's Day, and then they're trying to catch up for what they didn't do or did do or whatever. I was playing that song, I Press, with uh, Fred Hammond because that's what happened for me today. I had to press my way, amen, because there were so many things that were in line for me to do today, and all those things were overlapping on each other, And uh, but we had Mentoring Monday, so I had to press my way, amen. So uh, we're not, I just wanted to share a quick message, a quick uh, thought with you that God dropped in my spirit today, amen. So if you would, uh, you know, if you see the messages, watch out for the fake. Yeah, watch out for the fake. Uh, and we're gonna talk from the scriptures, but we're gonna talk today um, from from the from uh, a point of view of spiritually, but also dealing with business. Okay, so watch out for the fake. That's what we're going to talk about today. I, I thank you, uh, Nurja Hunt, for being with me to this evening, and for those that are watching by Facebook, thank you very much for being with us. Amen. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you being here with us. So, uh, what I want to talk to you about, Amen. If you would turn. If you have a Bible, if you do have a Bible uh, here with you, please do flip over to the book of Acts and, and, and flip over to, um, I would say, chapter four. And then please do drop down in the book of Acts, uh, drop down uh, chapter four to around verse 23. I'm going to read. No, I take that back. We're going to go down to about verse 32. Reverse those numbers, okay? Now, I'm going to talk, read this really quick. It's going to be a little long because I'm going to go all the way through chapter 5, verse 11. But then we're going to chit-chat for just a few minutes. We're not, I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, I, I think the message that God wants us to have, it won't take us long to talk about it, but we always want to have scripture that verifies. I just realized my, my video wasn't on. I apologize. Uh, I verify um, scripture verifies what we're going to talk about, okay? So I'm going to read with you um, Acts 4, starting around 32, and I'm going to be reading out of a different translation. I'm going to read out of the New American Standard Version, okay? Amen. So um, here's the thing. I'm going to start with the verse if everybody's ready. And the congregation of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own, but all things were common property to them. And with great power, the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and abundant grace was upon them all. For there was not a needy person among them for all who were owners of land or houses would sell them and bring the proceeds of the sales and lay them at the apostles' feet, and they would be distributed to each as any had need. Now, Joseph, a Levite of Cyprian birth, who was also called Barnabas by the apostles, which is translated means son of encouragement, who owned a tract of land, sold it, brought the money, and laid it, at the apostles' feet. But a man named Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, sold a piece of property and kept back some of the price for himself with his wife's full knowledge. And bringing a portion of it, he laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back some of the price of the land? 
while it remained unsold, did it not remain in your, uh, remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not under your control? Why is it that you have conceived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. And as he heard these words, Ananias fell down and breathed his last, and great fear came over all who heard of it. The young men got up and covered him up, and after carrying him out, they buried him. Now, there was an elapse, uh, there elapsed an interval of about three hours, and his wife came in, not knowing what happened. And Peter responded to her, tell me whether you sold the land for such and such a price. And she said, yes, that was the price. Then Peter said to her, why is it that you have agreed together to put the spirit of the Lord to the test? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out as well. And immediately she fell at his feet and breathed her last. And the young man came in and found her dead. And they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came over the whole church and over all who heard of these things. What did I tell you? The message today is watch out for the fake. Okay, now let's look at this scenario. First of all, I love it in chapter four. It says that all of the believers, notice what it's saying in verse uh, 32, Acts chapter four, verse 32. It said the congregation of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. That's the key right there. The congregation of those who were of one heart, one soul, believed on a mission, walking together, walking in agreement, had the same mission, were, uh, and they cared about each other. It said not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own, but all things were in common property to them. Basically, it said they were looking out for each other, okay? And I want to take this, well, let me kind of go through the, the story here, and then we're going to talk about the bi biblical principle of it, and we're going to be dismissed, okay? So it says, with great power, verse 33, the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and abundant grace was upon them all, for there was not a needy person among them, for all who were owners of land or houses would sell them and bring the proceeds of the sales, lay them at the apostles' feet, and they would be distributed to each as any had need. But notice that the first thing it said was there was abundant grace. So not only was the proceeds coming from what people were doing as far as selling their land, selling their houses, uh, and, and bringing the, the, the um value of it to the apostles and giving it to the church basically uh, but and then the church was distributing it to, so that everybody had what they needed nobody went lacking but that was not just it because the scripture says they had abundant grace amen abundance was coming to them hey listen you want to sell i want to sell my house i sell it quickly and the guy went, i spoke to um someone the other day and they was they they gave a testimony about their daughter they wanted to sell their house, sell her house. She needed to uh, take care of some things uh, for the family. And not only did she sell her house quickly, but it sold for more than her asking price because the person that bought the house needed some concessions. And so he paid extra for these concessions, which were not a bother for her. So abundant grace. Come on, somebody. Look at what I'm here, what I'm saying here. We sometimes want to put God in a box and say he can only bless us this way or that way or this way or that way at the hands of this person or or, or through a job or whatever. Uh, but God is able to orchestrate things where we have abundant grace, even in our business transactions. Yes, look at that. Amen. Now they're talking about real estate transactions, but we're also talking about business transactions. But what was the first criteria? These were those who believed, first of all, and they were of one heart and one soul. They had motive, which was to take care of each other. Their motive was unselfish. Quite the transition or quite the, quite the uh, reverse of what we talked about with um, Xerxes on last week, right? So listen, it says that they would lay it at the apostles' feet. And then there was Joseph, a Levite of Siberian, Siberian birth. In other words, he was from Cyprus, y'all. He was from a Greek uh, city, mm -hmm. the Isle of uh, uh, from Cyprus. But anyway, he was also called Barnabas. 
And we think of uh, Barnabas sometimes, we think of another, understand that these are common names. Joseph is a common name. Barnabas is a common name. Uh, but this one, uh, this uh, Barnabas was called the son of encouragement. Why? Because he was always looking for the positive. He was always looking for the good. He was always seeing about somebody, going to check on somebody, make sure everybody was okay. Amen. So, and we have, uh, you know what? We have some uh, some sons and daughters of encouragement, even within our kingdompreneur uh, group, with, within our warrior group. Uh, you know, Sister Nurjahan is always checking on somebody. Sister uh, Katrina is always checking on somebody. Brother Michael, always checking. Uh, listen, if I don't see a, a post from Brother Michael, something wrong. Uh huh. Always giving encouragement. We see encouragement from from uh you know people requesting uh you know uh requesting prayer or uh you know and 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 our group our people our members are quick to jump in to pray to to um support in decisions or to like on their posts or laugh at their jokes or whatever. We have a group that is very encouraging one to another. I love this group. And I believe that we are of one heart, amen. Uh, we are not religious. Yes, that is true, we are not. But we are spiritually minded, but of the Holy Spirit of God, amen. See, there are other spirits out there and we're not spiritually minded by them. We're not following those spirits, the dark spirits. The spirit we are following is the spirit of the almighty God, the spirit of love, the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace, the, uh, the you know, that spirit that is concerned hallelujah about our good amen so anyway i wanted to talk to you you know it says in in verse four uh chapter four verse 37 that he owned a little tract of land he sold it brought the money laid it at the apostles feet and then in chapter five verse one boom it talks about and a man named ananias with his wife sapphira sold a piece of property and brought some of the price kept back some of the price with his wife's knowledge and then brought a portion of it and laid it at the apostles feet. Why did I say watch out for the fake? Notice here that it did not say that Ananias nor Sapphira, even though there are some that want to say that they were believers and they were of the, the congregation and they were believers and, 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 and so forth and so on. Well, guess what? They may have been of the congregation, but I don't believe they were believers. Why? Because they were not of the same heart and same soul. Why do I say that? Because verse two says they kept some back some of the price for themselves. Remember the description in chapter four says they all the believers, the ones of one heart and one soul, all had things in common. Their whole uh, reason for doing what they did was so that everybody would be taken care of. No one put themselves above another person. Ananias and Sapphira, look at this. This is a husband and wife team. Wives, it is good to be in communion with your husband. It is good to be in communion. Uh, commu what is the word I'm looking for? Um, um, your husband's companion in agreement with your husband's, but not when it's against the spirit of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Look at it. It says here that she had the full knowledge that he had kept back some of the price, that's not a problem. He could do that. The problem was not that they sold the land. The problem was not that they kept back some of the proceeds. The problem was that they brought a portion of it to the apostles and then tried to play it off like they had sold it for just that amount. In other words, they were faking. They were acting as if they were part of the group had the same motives as the group. They were trying to pimp the grace of God. You heard what I said, yes. They were trying to pimp the grace of God. They'd already seen that uh, people were being taken care of. They had already seen the favor that was upon the believers. They had already seen how the camaraderie, the support, and they wanted to partake of that for themselves, but they had selfish motives. It wasn't because they wanted to be take care of everybody else. It's because they wanted it for themselves. Watch out for the fake. There are those that, um, and you know, we read the story, you know, it said that, you know, they asked the question, did you really, you know, why did you lie to the Holy Spirit, you, you know, and, and they fell dead. We're not getting into all of that part. The key of it is that what I wanted to talk to you about, even though there are consequences, uh-huh, when we try to fake it, 
there are consequences. Uh huh. And we don't have to worry about the consequences. God will take care of that. Amen. So, but the key of what I want you to see here is that when we, as our Kingdompreneur uh, Fellowship Group, we as Kingdom Warriors, as the favor of God is showing up. Uh, on our businesses, on our individual businesses, as, and on our, our um, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? As we work together on the things that we work together on, okay? Uh, and, and we're going to see the gr abundant grace of God that was talked about in chapter four. We are going to, because we want to honor God. One of the things that was so beautiful is what uh, Sister Nurjahan did on, on yesterday, uh, and well, last couple of days, amen, where she found out about a biz, uh, 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 offering, and rather than taking all of the blessing to herself, she said, listen, I want to spread the wealth. Uh, so here's this one. Now you shared this one, you shared this one, you shared this one. That actually is what prompted me to think about this story, because that basically is what was going on in Acts 4, is Everybody was making sure everybody else was taken care of. And that's what Sister Nurjahan, Brother Michael, Sister Katrina, everybody, Sister Carl, everybody was making sure, Sister Dorothy, everybody, Miss Sharon was, you know, all of us, we were working to make sure everybody got a piece of the pie. But you got to watch out for the fake because there are some that are going to see as we begin to be blessed in our businesses, blessed through, Sister Nurja Han has uh, several businesses that she's in. Uh, there, some of you are in the same businesses, some of you are in other businesses. But I do believe that because we are kingdom minded, because we are uh, doing our profits for kingdom business, because our, our goal is to support the kingdom, I do believe that we will walk in abundant grace. I do believe that we will find that as we do business transactions, we will have favor. I do believe that we will grow and expand and we will be noticed. And then there are those that will come because they notice and they're gonna to want to cling on. They're gonna to wanna to attach themselves to what God is doing and orchestrating through the group and take uh, partake of the blessing of the group, but they won't have the right motive. Watch out for the fake. They're coming. God is just, you know, directing me to this message, to this, this story. And, and I thought I was going to talk about Sapphira being such a, you know, the wife that stood by her man, stand by your man, y'all, okay, y'all might not be old enough, nor in the same genre. Uh -huh, that's a country song, yeah, L Loretta, I forget what her last name is, Loretta somebody, uh, but she used to sing a song, stand by, it's a country and western song, stand by your man, Loretta Lynn, mm-hmm, and, 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 and the key of it is, don't stand by him when he's standing against the spirit of the Lord because you don't want to drop right along with him. And now I'm, I'm not picking on the brothers because there are some sisters that, 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 that will step out of order. Brothers, if, you're out of, if they're out of order, they're out of order. Boom, done deal. Don't follow, amen? Watch out for the fake. Know that we are blessed as kingdompreneurs. We are blessed as, with this fellowship group because our motive is right. Acts 4 and, 30, 4 and 32 is a perfect description of what God has orchestrated this group of people to do. Though we'll do different things in different businesses, though we'll, we'll, you know, we are still yet having the same common heart and goal, heart and soul. Our goal is to promote the kingdom support the kingdom and then su and support each other so let's lock arms pay attention listen to the very spirit of the lord because just as the spirit of the lord told peter what they were up to i do believe that the spirit of the lord will tell us when the fate tries to infiltrate don't know why this warning came up but i i thank god for it that's my, like I said, it's a quick message. That's my message for the day. Any questions, any comments, it's up for you.
the, the door is open. Amen. <laughs> yes, Brother Michael, old school. <laughs> Did I scare y'all? <laughs> no, you didn't. It was a good message. Short and sweet, straight to the point. <laughs> and you're what? right about the press. It's, it's all about the press because I had the press to get here because I actually had, you know, therapy today. And um, from the time that I finished therapy. I just been up. I hadn't even sat down because I had to fix something to eat, and then I was fixing dinner, and then I looked at the time, and I was like, "Wow, it's two minutes still, and it's time to get on here." And then as soon as I get on here, I'm minding my own business and talking about good stuff, and then there goes my mom talking about, "I don't want to hear that stuff." Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting here like, "This is the things I get for making the dinner for people, really?" Like that was just. Okay, I know it's just nothing but the enemy because the message that you were saying. And so, you know, I'm just uh, just a little upset right now, but I'm going to press on so that we can continue with the business at hand and just recognize it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. God has the, the blessing is upon each of us, amen. And whenever you start to move toward your goal or to move toward something that will elevate the kingdom, uh, mm -hmm. know that the enemy's going to pop up. He's going to pop up. He's going to pop in different ways, in different yep. ways. Exactly. You know, sometimes it's very innocent looking, but different ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So, so I pray, I, th I pray that you eat because I know you. Eat. Well, I did. I had to hurry up and rush through it because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to hear you. I had to turn you off and I wasn't about to do that. So oh, well, there is the replay, but I appreciate you so much. Um, and I know I didn't know you had made me co-host. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to let these people in. I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, that's OK. I was seeing some of them as they were popping up. So we, we got them in. We got them in. We got them in. Amen. Right, amen. Uh, and like I said, it was short, sweet to the point, but that's what that's where it got to me. So preferably, it was a blessing to you. And mm -hmm. if just in your businesses, watch out for the fake in your relationships too. I hear this. Watch out for the fake in your relationships too. The ones that come want to come up the side up and act like they 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 your best, best, you know, ace boom, you know. Come mm -hmm. on, watch out, watch out. Listen to the spirit of the Lord within you. And as the spirit of the Lord directs you, that's how you move. The spirit of the Lord, I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures and then we're going to be out of here. Okay, why is, I can't answer that. See what I'm talking about? Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. See what I'm talking about. Now, everybody that knows me knows what goes on, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Why is my phone ringing? Amen. Amen. Okay, so um, looking at, uh -oh, do -do -do -do. yeah, okay. About the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, if you look in Acts, no, excuse me, John 16, 8. The Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, will convict us of sin. So it will tell us when we do, when we we, uh, you know, don't have the right motive for what we're doing. Because listen, sometimes I have to check my own self. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't have the right motive for what I'm doing. I might be doing it just so uh, for people pleasing or so that somebody will notice something or whatever. I, you know, mm -hmm. I, I will tell. I will tell on me. I will tell my mess. Right. Sometimes I do it. I don't do right because I don't have the right motive. And the Holy Spirit will tell me about myself. Yes, he will. He does it all the time. That's John 16 and 8. Holy Spirit will not only convict us of sin, but will guide us in truth. That's John 16, 13. He guides us into truth. 
He doesn't force the truth upon us, but he will guide us in the truth. And these are ways that we can avoid and watch out for the fake. Um, he empowers us for service, right? That's uh, Acts 1 and 8. Uh, he will empower us for service. And Romans 8.14 says he will continue to direct us. Romans 8.26, we know, mm, baby, make check on my cheese. Excuse me, but I can smell it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, helps us to pray with Ro in Romans 28.26. So the key of it is, we need to form a partnership with Holy Spirit. You know, right. spiritual means we have a partnership with him that will last throughout eternity. And in our relationships, we have partnership. But with that relationship would lead us to um, take advantage of or lie to that, that partnership we have with the triune God, guess which one needs to win out? Amen. So... I just wanted to to bring that out. God said, watch out for the fake. So I thought I better bring it out. Watch out for the fake. Because I do believe that there are things finna happen. God, you know, I y'all just don't see it. I, I see it. There are mm -hmm. things getting ready to happen for the group. And it won't mm -hmm. be just because in one business. It'll be different things. We all have our own goals. Mm -hmm. part of a fellowship we're part of a group that have all things in common that's where the king james says it i believe is that they have all things in common and right. because they have a common purpose there are going to be those the enemy is going to try to attack it and the enemy is going to try to dissolve it and try to dis disjoint us but we're going to stay together aren't we we're going to stay yes, we are on one we have so group. far and he ain't going to break up stuff now. Amen. Live and in. What was that? <laughs> he muted himself. <laughs> no, I said live and in color. <laughs> All right now. Yeah, but you know, you know, Dr. Carey, you always, you always telling the truth. You always telling the truth. I can't remember a time when you forgot what the truth was ever since I've been knowing you, you always tell the truth. Mm -hmm. It don't matter who's, if you're stepping on the toe, you ain't stepping on the toe, and I ain't got nothing to do with it. You just gonna tell the truth. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you're right though. <laughs> and you're right, you're always right. Always. I actually love it when you're stepping on toes, Dr. Carey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> makes us examine ourselves even more. Well, me, I speak for myself. Mm -hmm. It makes me examine myself even more and like, okay, well, wait a minute. <laughs> so I appreciate it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. Well, you know, that, that, that's Holy Spirit. And sometimes he pulls out the little bat and gets inside the head with the, with the word. Yes. It's got his word written on the bat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and the Holy Spirit time. timing is perfect. You may have had something else that you were planning on teaching on, but the Holy Spirit guided you to give us this. And so this is what we were supposed to hear tonight. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, I'm going to check the Facebook page right quick. And... I know that there was a, a little something, something else that some folks were wanting to look at. Uh -huh. um, oh, buddy. Let's see. I don't see any comments here right at the moment. I'm going to do a refresh just in case. No, I don't see any comments. So we are going to um, shut down the Facebook Live. And let me get back to my, okay, we're going to shut down the live. Stop live. How do you do that? Where are you? Stop live stream. There we go. And we are going to.